Hello and welcome to this ultimate LMG guide for Series 5 of Call of Duty Mobile in 2023. I am Hissing Thoughts, COD Mobile's only dedicated light machine gun streamer. I've used the Holger so much in the past I'm actually known as Holger Thoughts or Spamming Thoughts because it's more about the bullets. Hey, you're the chopper! Got him! Nice. Chopper, so good. He's up here. Let's go this way. He's going to A. Right. Yeah. Nice. nice. Down, son. But I told you, homies, his things. One man. Good. One he, was, he was high ping, bro. <laughs> 95, 100. <laughs> This is, this is just built different, guys. It's proof of the main rank weapon I used on my journey to Legendary last season. It was the Chopper, followed by the Holger, and then in third place, the uh, LMG of SMGs, the PP Bison. I'm going to be showing you gunsmiths, loadouts, and some tips on how to use the most meta of the LMGs. And some of these LMGs are so good that they're actually considered meta amongst all all of the current weapons. Let's jump into some of the gunsmiths. Chopper is my go-to. Now with the heavy handle here, you essentially don't ADS in too far when you're preparing to fire, which means you have an increased view of your surroundings. This can be very useful in closer quarters, but this gun can also beam at range. Now because you need the heavy handle to force that essentially hip fire firing mode, you're limited on your other attachments, and this is, this is pretty much where you can take things. The chopper infantry here gives a lovely Range boost and recoil control, your ADS bullet spread, and it gives a little boost to your hip fire as well. Now, if you want to be a little bit more aggressive, and let's say range accuracy is not so important, you can use Chopper Special Forces Barrel. It gives a little bit of an aim down sight boost and uh, increase to your movement speed. I prefer the infantry though. I use the Monolithic Suppressor for boosting range and suppression. Now, if you're using SD, I generally don't like to use lasers, but I have tried this without the OD OWC laser tactical, and the gun just isn't as good as with it. So for s you just didn't need to, when using this, make sure that you don't have your laser on display to control it. And I would say use disabled. If you're really into your wall bangs, you can pop on FMJ for penetration boost on walls. But like machine guns, the beauty of using this class of weapons is they already have really good wall penetration. I think it's, it's 70%. Um, that's the most in the game and disabled for a couple of seconds will slow your opponent down by 20-25%. So you've got a big old heavy weapon and that can be quite advantageous uh, when you're locked in a gunfire and need to get off a few shots to complete. Now that comment about this perk here is pretty standard for all LMGs pretty much. Uh, you can use disabled FMJ or even sleight of hand because LMGs are notorious for reloading very slow. In respawns, you could consider changing the suppressor to the tactical so you don't have the range boost, but you also have a lesser penalty on your aim down sight time and your bullet spread at a cost of range, but you do have the infantry on for 20% boost anyway. So that's the chopper. If there was just one LMG that I could use, I would go with that. I just I just love the fact that the ADSing on it is pretty much hip fire, just a little, little bit higher than hip fire and I can see a lot more. Uh, also if someone does get close you can instead of using the aim down sight just hip fire because you do have hip fire bullet spread boost on the heavy handle and on this chopper infantry here for 10%. Now the gun everyone's probably wanting to know about is the Holger here. This for a very very long time probably even longer than the CVR which got nerfed recently um, has been essentially a top five meta gun. It has had a significant nerf to one of its attachments, which is the nose stock here. This used to give you 40% ADS uh, movement speed, which means you could strafe from cover out or head glitch, and you're presenting a moving target, uh, which makes things difficult for your opponent. And when combined with the likes of disabled and the no stock ADS and movement boosts, essentially turned it into almost like an AR version, except you've got a hundred bullets. Now there's a number of different ways you can build the Holger. What you're looking at right here is something I came up with for s and um, Now the no stock, while reducing from 40% to 26 is massive. You can still use the no stock and get all that green benefit there for the cost of hip flinch, vertical recoil, and ADS bullet spread. Because I don't like lasers in s and 
I don't use the OWC and I go for the operator foregrip, which gives vertical recoil control. Now, personally, when the no stock was 40%, uh, I either wouldn't use as a perk Skulker because I just found the ADS movement speed a bit too much for my style of play. So I was rocking the YKM light stock anyway, which you know now gives only 6% less boost for the ADS movement speed and the recoil penalties are dramatically less as is the bullet spread and it does not have the hidden flinch issue. You can use, also use the combat stock if you want to just slide in an ADS as quick as possible. The thing is if you're going to get into an ADS battle with a light machine gun versus SMGs at close range or ARs you might as well use that class of gun. The real benefit of using LMGs is that you have many many bullets. The most risky time on the COD mobile battlefield is when you're reloading anyway. So more bullets should mean you can take out more opponents before slipping away and finding a safe spot to reload. I have this for my respawns. Uh, I have the laser on here, granulated, maintaining the bullet spread accuracy. Tactical suppressor, you can change it for mono, get a range boost. I find I don't need it. And we were talking about stocks before. This is where I have been using the RTC steady stock. Recoil boost, bullet spread boost, but the hit flinch, 25% reduction makes this really powerful at taking on head glitches and winning. Yes, there is a 30% ADS movement speed penalty, so you won't be strafing a lot like the other version of it. This can be a really good, accurate option. And if the chop is not your thing, then the Holger is your next best bet. Now, if I'm using that RTC Steady Stock, I'm going to use the Skulker perk here uh, for 12% faster movement speed. And because I've got that 25% flinch reduction using that stock, I can afford to use Quick Fix here. Otherwise, I would be using Toughness, and you definitely want to be using that if you are using the No Stock still. This has been an interesting LNG right since it was introduced because you could build it in a number of ways you could build it as a really passive lmg the 100 rounds you could also build it as an ar and you could also build it as an smg and back in the day the short barrel here uh, was amazing and it got a massive massive nerf uh, but this this basically made it like an op smg combined with it's got a couple of mags here which reduced the bullet capacity massively but your reload time and your ads time is reduced massively so this turns the Holger into essentially an, an assault rifle certainly as an LMG main if I wanted to use an LMG style that this this is what I'd use the Holger or the next gun I'm going to show you but look if you're going down this path you might as well just use an LM, uh, an AR like um, LK24 for example okay here's the next gun you should consider this one's very interesting as well now for LMGs I think anything less than 60 rounds is is just not not really worth it. You might as well use one of the um, assault rifles with a 50 round mag on. Now if you take this off, this gun only has 30 bullets, which is just stupid. That's not an LMG at all. Um, but you could have built upon that and turn it into an AR style similar to the Holger. You can certainly build this gun for speed, but its strength is in its long range accuracy. Now I do some YouTube moderation for the pro player Space, and he uses 50 round he uses this RTC steady stock and he drops the laser for FMJ. Now, the thing you got to realize is he's a pro player, so his accuracy is already really good. When someone's giving you guns, gunsmiths, it's a good idea to understand how they use it. So for me, I'm all about the ways of the snake. I'm about flanking players and counter flanking and trying to get into gunfight, one-on-one -on -one gunfights. Space, he was notorious for using the SKS Marksman. And only stopped because it was banned in comp. This is the this is the gun he went to instead. So you got to imagine he is using this like it is a marksman rifle, and he uses FMJ to take people off of head glitches. He swears by it. Like I say, the um the bullet pen penetration is already good on LMGs, so you can consider el elsewise. Um, and also his build very very slow with the RTC steady stock. Um, he does great with it, but you would probably find it a bit too slow. So if you do want to use his one, which would look like this, then you want to be holding down angles, basically. More of a passive type role. Now, like I say, I won't accept anything less than 60 rounds. So I'm going to use that for a little bit of penalty on the ADS and movement. Uh, while I do really notice the accuracy of using the RTC steady stock, I trade that out for the granulated. 
so that I get some of my ADS movement back and I will use disabled. You will also see some people using this light barrel. Makes things a bit more aggressive, uh, but generally when they do that, they will drop on this monolithic suppressor, which then takes away your bullet spread in ADS time. If you want to use a red dot, you can drop either the perk or the laser. I like this skin here, which is the octopus blueprint. Some people like the gourd loader. I hate it because the iron sight just is terrible on it. Now the other gun I've been using, which is really quite fun for more of the passive play style, is this PKM. This is the loadout here. Uh, it is really, really good for finding a power position and holding it and just taking on other people uh, that are on head glitches. It also has a cool sound when it roars up and starts firing. Um, this is a lot of fun, but you will find yourself a lot slower with this one here. And shout out to Signu. This is his loadout and um, he considers this meta for this season. Now the fifth gun is the RPD and it is the unique thing about the RPD is it has a cooling compressor barrel which means basically uh, infinite bullets. You don't you don't have to worry about bullets at all running out of bullets. Uh, it will overheat at around about the same time span as if you just blasted 100 rounds of ammo. This is the loadout I have and I use I use this in two main areas. One is S and D on firing range because it has a lot of wall bangable areas. I have played around with FMJ, but like I've said, this gun already has good wall penetration. When you're wall banging, you're basically trying to look for hit markers to detect where someone is. And once you find them, you just keep spanning the area until until they're dead or they manage to back off. Great for suppressing fire, and the disable slows them down from getting away. Now it's time to talk about one of the perks that you can use with that style of play is the heartbeat sensor. So in S and D, where things tend to be a bit more passive and there's a lot of snipers and so on. You can hide behind walls, detect your enemy, as long as they don't have ghost on, and you don't even have to pop out sometimes, you can just start blasting if the wall you're behind is, is wall bangable as well. On this one, I use the pinpoint, uh, it, it outlines enemies if you're taking damage from them or you're dealing it, which is useful, but it also gives a little bit of enhanced aim assist, which is great. Ghost, just to be an extra sneaky snake, I use the heartbeat sensor on the chopper as well, and for the Holger, I use this Echo Grenade for, um, it's had a buff this season, because it does two waves of detection on the enemy and it can outline them, which means, you know, they're there hiding, especially in SD, uh, and you can often wallbang if you see them. SD, I use toughness here generally, um, because if I'm into a gunfight, the toughness helps reduce hit flinch and bullet impact is a thing this season and if you can maintain the stability of your your firing um, then you have a much better chance at winning that gunfight just of interest here i do use amped um, on the chopper some people do use gung-ho uh, because you can throw grenades and uh, sprint while changing mags which is quite useful the amped allows me to pull out this heartbeat sensor and put it back quicker um, to change back to my lmg so i find that quite useful I use trip mines just to watch my back because LMGs you are going to be a bit slower, you're trying to hold power positions. The other gunsmith I have for the RPD, which is again from Signu, I use this all the time in Claymores and this is really built for fast ADS, use it on shipment, spam kills, really really useful. Use an L car there uh, for its movement speed for getting around. The other thing we can talk about is your secondary weapon. I like these Kali sticks because they've got snakes on them, so that's part of my branding. But uh, actually, a pistol would probably be a good partner for, for LMGs. Um, now, you move faster with a melee weapon. So if you're racing to get to a power position and start f spamming your gun, melees are good. Also, if you're trying to get away to reload somewhere to safety. But sometimes a pistol as a secondary can be more useful, especially means that you've got a gun out as a secondary ready to fire if you encounter someone. And that's it. Those are the main LMGs to deploy in multiplayer in Series 5 Call of Duty Mobile. So again, the chopper, so good. Um, how you want to play this one is you can be more aggressive. It's like a more aggressive Holger. And this is where Gung Ho might be the better option. Um, you, you're rushing to a power position, sliding in, you're sliding around corners, pre-firing, all that sort of stuff where you want to be ads and firing um, to counter your opponents. All of these LMGs I've found historically, because I was more of an SND player up until this last season where I, I mainly played respawns, but in SND, especially on my server and when I played on North America, 
it was not uncommon to be up against uh, full squads of five opponents of using snipers, DLQs and locuses and so on. And that was really annoying. And so my response to that previously was to learn how to snipe to counter them. And I got okay with that. But actually, I've had way more success countering snipers using LMGs in my own style. Now, if you want to know more about my style, I do stream regularly using LMGs, ranked and sweaty Clan Wars matches. And follow my channel to catch me when I'm streaming. And you'll get a feel for how I use these guns. I hope you found this ultimate guide to LMGs really useful. Let me know if there's more that you want to know about this category of guns or you'd like to see from me. Uh, I might even do a video on uh, some of the other LMGs that I didn't talk about and how you might use them. Ready. <laughs>